Hello everyone and welcome back to Reactive UI and Xamarin Forums. Uh, the topic of today is observables. What is observables? A very quick definition for that and a little example. Then are going to move to see how we can implement this nice feature in building super amazing mobile applications in Reactive UI with Xamarin Forms. So let's get started. In fact, in every application you have, there is a controls. For example, text box, buttons, entry in Xamarin Forms, whatever. Always we use events, right? So we use the click event in the button. So we listen to this button, we observe it, we observe it. Whenever a user clicks on it, we immediately respond to that by doing some action. For example, the user clicks the login button, so you immediately in the application you call the login function. Now, imagine that you can implement this feature like listening, observing, uh, for anything, not only controls and specific events. Like you can implement this feature you can observing a collection of data, a collection of messages, uh, normal variables, integer variables, string, whatever. For example, let's imagine here we have a list, collection of data. It is a normal list in .NET that contains a set of delivery orders. Okay, and we want to listen to this list, to the changes that happen inside it. For example, Whenever a new uh, delivery order submitted and inserted into this list, we want to send a notification to the user or an email to the admin or the owner of the restaurant that, hey, there is a new order, order for you. In fact, the normal and the traditional thing to do is like set a timer every 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and simply check if there is any new data or no. But using observables, we create an observable collection and then we can subscribe to this collection or to this observable the same way we, we subscribe to the click event for a button. Whenever any change happens inside this list, for example, new item added, removed, changed or whatever, it immediately notifies us and we can take the right action to respond for that changes. Okay, now here is a real world example. This is a UI. Inside this UI, I have a text box and a list of contacts. When the user types inside this text box, it filters the list of contacts. Okay, here we are using MVVM, so we don't use uh, events and the code behind file like we don't want to subscribe to the text changed event and uh, do some action whenever any change happened inside the text box when we use this we target our code specifically to Xamarin and in the code behind file and to a specific control which is the entry and specific event but while using MVVM we want to write a maintainable testable code and we write this logic inside the view models which is a normal C-sharp classes that can be used across multiple platforms, not only for Xamarin or Windows or whatever. So instead of listening to the text change, text change event inside the text box, we can in the view models create a string. Let's call it search query, and then we can make it observable in Reactive UI, and then. We can subscribe to this variable. It's a normal vari string variable. When we subscribe to that, whenever any change happens to this variable, like the user types new character, removes characters, or anything, this observable immediately notifies us that, hey, there is some change here. You can do the right action to respond for this change immediately. And this way, you are listening for variables, .NET variables, string, integer, and uh, lists, whatever. For example, you have an age. Age, instead of listening to the numeric control here, 
you can listen to an integer variable whenever this variable uh, set to 18 or above you can take an action or doing anything else and this is a super general example now from starting from the next video we will we will build our first view model but with reactive ui we will see how we can take advantage of this super amazing feature to build a very nice uh, dynamic dynamical view model that can be uh, suitable for all the applications not only view models for xamarin view models for wpf uh, windows apps no we will build one view model that could be run across all .NET applications and in addition to this it could be tested very easily so thank you for watching and see you in the next video